Taliban would be recognized internationally or that they are given legitimacy state-wise. But let's not forget that there are 38 million civilians on the ground and they need our help. So the humanitarian assistance, it should be, because this is the right time. It's much better, I mean, in terms of, of having the right time, this is exactly the right time where they need our assistance and the international community's assistance and way, way more than what we used to have during the previous government regime. So that's why I would say that humanitarian assistance should not just be kept the pace of the humanitarian assistance and the, the, the flow, uh, but at the same time, I think it's, it needs to be increased. Uh, but I understand at the same time that the challenge remains there, how the, uh, it, it should be reached there, where the, what are the technical mechanisms and how, how would be the, the whole like, accountability mechanism. I know how challenging that is, but there's no way, nothing impossible all across the world. And I would like to end uh, my remarks with the, um, with a saying, it, it's not actually a saying, I would just like to quote something from the um, World War II ending. And it says that the first, they came for the socialists and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade uh, unionists and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. And then they came for the Jews and I did not speak up because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak for me. And I want to